Okay, this is a tough message. Um, I'm going to be totally transparent with you. If you are a full-fledged, totally devoted follower of the Lord Jesus Christ on fire for Him, I can promise you, you are going to experience some very, very big spiritual warfare where the devil just comes at you hard. What do you do when the devil comes hard? Um, I'm right now in the middle of yet another battle. I've been through zillions of battles before. I have been through such spiritual warfare. It is literally miraculous. It's only by the grace of God that I am standing, that I am walking forward, that I'm still in ministry, that I'm even alive. The devil has come and come and come at me for years and years and years in so many ways, from so many angles, with st such strength and vehemence and, and ugliness, and it, it's been horrific. And it is not fun. And I can promise you for years I would cower, I was intimidated, I would just feel like quitting, I would quit at times. And now I'm here to tell you that victory, there is victory, it is promised to us in and through the Lord Jesus Christ and for the Lord Jesus Christ. And what's on my heart right now in terms of when the devil comes hard at us is that if we went out to war right now, would we go onto the battlefield alone by ourselves and try to win in our little human strength? <laughs> or would we go out onto the battlefield with an entire army with a commander-in-chief? Would we go into the battlefield with weapons? We would not go alone if we were in our right minds. And yet some of us try to win or survive when we face a spiritual battle, when the devil's coming hard at us. We, we try to do it on our own in our human weakness. And we're not going to make it that way. I really believe that we are not. The Bible is so clear that we need Jesus, number one, and that we need the body of Christ, number two, his body, our fellow followers of Jesus. And there's a scripture that years ago a loved one helped me to understand more fully. The scripture is, submit to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and God will draw near to you. And what my loved one back then showed me and pointed out to me is that it first says submit to God. It doesn't say resist the devil by yourself. We are to first yield ourselves to Jesus. We are to first surrender ourselves to the Lord. And as we know from the entire Bible, we are not on this planet earth by ourselves. We have fellow soldiers, so to speak. So we are to look to the Lord. We are to look to his word. We are, as it says in Ephesians 6, to put on the full armor of God. And there are different aspects of that armor. You can go look that up in Ephesians 6. We are to use the Word of God, the Bible. It's a weapon. We are to be studying the Word and living by the Word. We have the Holy Spirit living inside of, of those of us who follow Jesus. But the absolute number one way to have victory is to look to Jesus. Um, I want to finish by saying that something that the Lord showed me years ago that has always stuck with me is that in the Old Testament there are battles, 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 tons of battles, tons of wars. Anyone who ever had victory was following the instructions of the Lord. They looked to the Lord, they listened to the Lord, and they followed the instructions. And interestingly enough, not every battle were the instructions the same. They were different from battle to battle. So at one time, the Lord might say, march around um, Jericho seven times and do this or do that. Other times he would say praise. Other times he would say the battle is the Lord's. Uh, he would speak through prophets. He would give warnings. He gave instructions. He would say, set an ambush. But other times there wouldn't be an ambush. So it was always about looking to the Lord. So I'm here today to encourage you if you're in the middle of a battle and Take one look at me how exhausted I am. I'm in a mighty battle once again But I believe with all of my heart. I have victory in Jesus And if you are facing a battle right now, I want to tell you you are not going to win this battle in your own strength You're not going to win it isolated Even when you turn to the Lord and his word remember that we have fellow followers of Jesus to walk alongside us to battle with us 
to pray for us, to love us, to encourage us, as we should do with them. We are to love one another and to encourage one another. So my friend, look to Jesus. Look to the Bible. Submit yourself to him. Don't be walking in sin and rebellion and expect to win a battle. Turn to the Lord. If you fall, repent. I, listen, I need to repent on a daily basis. I am learning how to walk with the Lord. So I encourage you, my friend, press on. Please visit me and my ministry, Good News Ministry, at goodnews.love. Remember, it begins with submitting to God and then resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Thank you so very much. Be encouraged. Take care. Bye-bye.